talk to us about the progression they've made then, Neil, since that night well, earlier in the season when we covered them against Sevilla when they lost a three-goal lead and the improvement well, they've made. To score three goals away in Sevilla is a difficult thing to do and they made it look easy. But then the capitulation in the second half was uh, symptomatic of the way it's gone under Klopp. Now, all of a sudden, well, not all of a sudden, the introduction of Van Dijk has been huge, I think. Obviously, you pay for quality, 75 million is a lot of money for a centre-half, but he could be the mainstay there and just what they needed. I think Robertson, You had him at Celtic, Neil. Yeah, he's outstanding. Explain, has he always been that sort of... He's, a, he's an outstanding footballer. He looks as if he talks a lot as well. Doesn't yeah, he? he is. He's a leader. Um, and he was very mature even at 21, 22 when I had him. Um, and I knew after a week or so, I said to him, look, enjoy yourself here, you won't be here long. But it's been meteoric. The only, the only thing i concerned is sometimes he got a little bit complacent. I don't see that now in his game. There's a maturity about him. He can do everything. Does he now, point a finger in the dressing room? Oh, yeah. People? He will dig people out. He covers the ground well. You, like You see him every week, Graham. He can head the ball in both boxes. He brings the ball out. He's quick. I think Robertson at left back is going to be a mainstay there as well. So there's a good balance to the team now. But going forward, they're a dream. And now they're in the last eight. Why not? Why, why can't they win it? You know, they could beat anybody on the day.